Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tech channel. So this is a new series and very first video of this series called Flutter with Charts. And in this series, we are going to discuss about the charts only, like how we can draw a different type of charts on our Flutter app. So at the very beginning, we are going to draw a bar chart, but later point of this video, I mean, in this series, we are going to draw a line chart, pie chart, donut chart, or different kind of charts available on the library called Charts Flutter. It is a Flutter charting library. So I'm going to use this Charts Flutter library to draw a different type of charts in our Flutter app. Also, the first thing we are going to do is first, we will learn the basic that how we can draw a hard-coded data using the bar chart or different type of chart after drawing a hard-coded data, we will replace that data with the REST API endpoint. Again, I have to figure it out that from where I can get a public API which will give us a data and that and how we can draw that data on our Flutter app. So the first point, the first motto is, is that, that using this series, I wanted to help you to understand that how you can draw multiple charts in our Flutter app. Second thing, that I wanted to learn you a basic chart drawing thing. After learning the basic, we will replace the hard-coded data with the REST API data. Okay, so let's don't waste the time and start writing the code. But before I will start writing the code, please make sure to subscribe to the Davis Tech channel. Also, please follow on my GitHub also or LinkedIn or Instagram and let's connect on the social media platform. Please don't forget to share this channel to your friend, like the video and share the video to your friend. It will highly motivate me. Okay, so let's start writing the code. So the very first thing is add that dependency on our pubspec.yaml file. But there is a trick. Right now I'm using the Flutter 2.5 plus version and uh, currently in this charts flutter 0.11.0 version have some kind of glitch that's why i'm using this format to add the dependency on pubspec.yaml file here you can see that i am directly fetching the library code from their respective github okay so please don't worry i will put this exact thing on the description find that Thing from the description and put it on our pubspec.yaml file just after this Cupertino icons. Okay, so let's start coding and uh, let's back, get back to the basic code structure. Okay, so let's start writing the code. So here you can see that I have created a new app using the Flutter current version 2.5.2 and to get the code of the chart flutter library, we are following this thing. I mean, to add a dependency on our pubstrate.yaml file, we are following this pattern as of now. Okay. And uh, in a main.dart file, as of now, we don't have anything. I just remove all the bilateral code. So let's go on a leaf folder and let's create uh, another folder source and let's put all the charts related thing over here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a bar chart folder. So we will make, I mean, we are going to draw a multiple chart in Flutter app. So I will going to put respective chart code on the respective folder name. So first thing we are going to draw a bar chart. That's why I created a new folder called bar chart. And I'm going to push, I mean, I'm going to place all the code of the bar chart related thing over here only. So bar chart dot dot. Let's go over here and let's import the material.dart package. Okay. And let's create the stateless widget. As of now, as I told you that we are going to use a hard coded data. I mean the data which we are going to generate. As of now, we are not going to work with the REST API. That's why it will be a stateless widget. Then in the future, when we will draw a graph using the REST API data, then we will make this thing using the stateful widget. Okay, so let's use the bar chart. Okay. 
And instead of returning a container, let's return a scaffold. Actually, and in the scaffold, let's add a body. No, not add a body as of now. Let's add a app bar. In app bar, let's state a title bar chart. That's great. And let's go on a main dot dot file and in the material app in our home. Let's use the bar chart, which we just created. When I did this, then automatically that file is imported over here. And let's hit the save, that will come over here. Okay. Why the title is not coming? Oh, now the title is came. Okay. So the second thing, we have to generate the data, right? To draw a graph, we need a data. To generate a data, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a model class. That will be a bar model dot dot and let's first create a class that will be a basic class and with help of that class we are going to create multiple object of this class and that will going to generate the data for our chart okay so let's create a bar model and as you know to draw something we need x-axis and y-axis simply let's add a x-axis that will be a year that will be a type of a string because it's a year and let's add a y-axis that will be a integer okay so let's provide the name also year and uh, value okay and let's use the bar model again to initialize it on a constructor the first thing is the year we need a x axis and we need the y axis. So with the help of this class, I mean bar model, we are going to generate the data's list of this bar model data to draw the bar chart. So let's go on a bar dot dot file and uh, let's generate a data using the this chart flutter library. Okay, actually to feed up the data. We need, uh, I mean, we need to generate the data in a specific format. So, so let's create a new function and this function will going to generate the data on that specific format. Okay, so static and it will be a type list. Okay, first thing we need to import that, that bar, I mean the chart package the chart flutter package it should queue chart flutter okay the chart flutter package here and we need to import it like as charts and let's use these charts and with help of these charts we are going to return a charts dot series type of data and actually it have a bar model type that is another generic again and uh, string type so let me just first generate the data then we will talk that how it will going to work let's create a kind of private methods create sample data it will be a method and uh, did I did any mistake? Nope. I just showing the error. A function body must be provided. Oh, we need to add a function body. So here, the first thing is let's generate the data. Okay. So as I told that we are going to generate the data with using bar model, and we need to provide the year let's use the 2016 and the value let's we sell something 20 pieces and 2017 we sell the 24 pieces or 23 2018 we sell the 29 pieces okay and uh, after that here I did a mistake that is a common mistake okay 
and uh, we need to import this bar model here also I did a mistake wow this bar model thing bar model is already imported right I do a lot of typo mistake <laughs> just bear me out okay so this is a bar model <laughs> I did a double M typo mistake okay that's as that's really fine okay so I'm going to return a list of data and we are going to generate a list using this charts dot series because bar chart take this series data and we will fit the data which we generated okay so actually this is a type bar model and uh, it will have a string okay and uh, using this method we are going to generate the actual data which we are going to fit the bar model a bar chart so the data which we have here I am going to assign it I will just explain you everything just let me just draw the chart first ID we have to provide we can provide the cells also we need to provide the color so it also have a color function so it will be a function we need to pass the charts dot material palette that is provided by the charts only uh, and let's use the blue as the color set default okay and here actually it takes some parameter and as of now we don't want to I mean provide the parameter so let's use the this one okay and uh, the second I mean the third thing let's add a fourth thing also that will be a domain function domain function and in the domain function we have to say that what will going to be a x axis for our bar chart so as I told that the x axis will going to be a year then we have to use that thing so I'm going to use the bar modal as a parameter I mean as a type bar modal so it will a uh, function which take a parameter so this is a parameter name and uh, we have to return the year so because as I told the x axis will going to be a uh, year only so bar modal the year this will be a x axis and we also have to provide the y axis so that is the next thing that is a measure function and we need to provide the y axis as the value okay and we already provided the data so that's it that will going to generate the data for the bar chart I will come back to this later but let's first draw the chart okay to draw a chart uh, in the body of the scaffold we are going to use the same charts instance which we import in and it have a bar chart in this bar chart we are going to take two parameter okay the first parameter is the data which we wanted to draw so as we generated this data using this create sample method so we have to provide this thing and uh, also we need to just wrap this thing with the container okay and let's use this container because we need to provide the height and width so height will be 300 and width it will take the whole width of the screen so if we don't provide the width then also it will work I will come back this thing later but let's draw the graph first and uh, second thing is the parameter called animated if you want to animate this thing then put the true otherwise please put the false okay let's hit the save first and see if we are able to draw the data or not okay here you can see that 
uh, data is came. So let's go on a bar chart and let's wrap it to the center widget. Okay. So here you can see that the bar data is came. Okay. So let me just uh, explain you this thing that we have created a bar model. Actually, we need a x axis and the y axis. That's why we have two variable over here. This here will represent the x axis of the bar chart and this value will represent the y axis of the bar chart because we need to provide the quantity or something for the bar. Okay. Then what we did that we need a data in a format of the charts package. Okay. This is a chart package and chart package take a specific format to draw the data. Okay. So what we did that first we have created the sample data list. Okay. So this data list we can get from the rest API as well, but as of now we are getting it manually. I mean hard coded data, but we can get it this data from the rest API and we are using the charts dot series instance. I mean, it will going to create an instance of this charts dot series. Okay. And uh, using that, we are creating the data in a format of the charts package. Okay. So what does it take? First thing it will take is the data that's need to be drawn on the bar chart. Second thing is the ID. Third thing is the color function. We can use any color which we want. Like we can use the red dot set default. Okay. Or anything we can use over here. And uh, fourth thing is the domain function, which you have to specify that which value you wanted to provide the x axis. Like I wanted to put the year as a x axis. And then we have the measure function, which thing you wanted to put it on a y axis. So I wanted to put it the value as a y axis. Then it will going to create a list of data based on this data we have provided in a format of the charts package. And that thing we have to use over here. Okay. So the charts instance itself have another method called bar chart in a bar chart. We need to provide two things. The first thing is the data in a format of the charts package. And second thing is the animate false or true. Okay. So let's use this true. Then what will going to happen? So I just wanted to let you know that this package we can use to draw a flutter chart. Okay. So here, uh, one, one thing I just wanted to uh, specify that here I use the same 2018 year because of that we are not getting the fourth value of the bar because this is this this x axis should be a unique value so if we use 2018 and 2018 two time then it will take the last one so what we need to do let's use the 2019 over here and it will draw the 2019 data also we can add a multiple data and it will look really nice. 2020. Let's add. And because of this animated true, this is coming as an animated way. And 2000. Uh, yeah. 30. Okay. So which means we can draw a bar chart in our Flutter app. Okay. Using this Flutter chart library. Let's explore that how we can draw this bar chart using the REST API data and we will do it on our next video. But please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share this video to your friend. It will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you all. Happy coding. See you on our next video.